Welcome to RimWorld Vanilla Series with Ramon, Sarah, and Unai. So in the last episode, we have finished researching batteries and we have finished building batteries and we finished building a couple of solar panels and now we have a stable power source and that is always great. So for now, we are gonna focus on building our defenses because we want to defend ourselves from raiders and without a kill box, that's going to be pretty hard. Also, in the last episode, if you guys can remember, Sarah has become a sidecaster, which means she's gonna need to meditate a lot. So, in order to fill up her, or in order, in order for us to use her Psycaster abilities, she needs to meditate at an anima tree. So I'm just gonna place a meditation spot right beside this anima tree, so that Sarah could start meditating. We also need to schedule Sarah for meditation. And in order for for us to do that, we need to replace some of these uh, recreation bars into meditation because medita meditating uh, gives recreational boost. So it's almost the same as recreation, but it's on it's it's only dedicated for psychasters. Looks like. Ramon is building more batteries which is good because we are gonna need it in case we run out of power. So I think we are going to expand our storage and our fridge because soon they are all gonna fill up and we don't want that. So before anything else, please enjoy this little montage about Ramon building the kill box. So what I'm going to do is, because we want gun turrets in our kill box, is that we are going to uh, cancel some of these limestone walls because we are going to put, we are going to replace it with wooden doors because um, behind our gun turrets is going to be wooden doors so that we can repair gu the gun turrets without getting in the kill box and also to mini minimize the explosion ra range when it's damaged so let's force Ramon to mine these slates so that we have more space in our fridge and of course let's expand the stockpile and look at Brittany, just sleeping. What a lazy animal. And looks like she is eating grass. 
maybe in the future we're gonna find it we're gonna find a partner for him I mean her so let's just hope that we find another iguana that could be her partner and it looks like we have a transport pod crash and it's and it's sugar what a nice name from our enemy oppression rig so so I think we're gonna recruit this one I don't know let's check uh, her stats I mean it's a male so it's a his and it looks like he's incapable of skilled labor and he's a psychopath and nervous so we have a, a nervous psychopath here but his skills is pretty good his melee is a bit high which is good because we need a frontliner he's good at animals he's good at being artistic uh, he, ha he has double passion on medical which is pretty good we're gonna set him as our doctor and he's gonna be tending uh, for our colonist and he has double passion on intellectual as well and I think yeah I'm set to uh, recruit this guy so let's have Unai to tend to sugar although he has a right leg scar doesn't really matter because it's not aching or something that could uh, put a mood debuff on him and yeah just like what I've said earlier our stockpile our storage our fridge is now filled this is going to be a problem so let's expand just a little bit because we are gonna need a lot more space than that but hopefully in the future or in between episodes I could expand uh, the stockpile I've noticed that we have no warden and that's not good because uh, we have no colonists that could recruit sugar I think I'm gonna set all of them to warden sugar looks like a local raccoon has gone mad so let's have Sarah and Ramon drafted and looks like there's a dead doe lying here so let's just allow that for us to butcher later and we had a clean shot from Sarah clean shot from uh, Ramon I don't know what's going on anymore but it's getting uncomfortably close and oh my god they quit they killed it really quick and that's that's always good looks like Ramon is about to finish building our kill box which is really really good And just look at that, our, our fridge is now full, it cannot hold anymore and I don't think I can expand it, that's really unfortunate but I think my solution is, is to haul this stuff to our general stockpile and oh my god it's really full so let's just haul these stuff for now and I think I'm gonna build another fridge just relatively close from the farm 
because I don't want um, I don't want our colonists to be running around carrying food all the time so I think I'm gonna find a spot to put our fridge in I think right beside this mountain will do right here and yeah and I think I'm gonna end this episode here I'm really sorry if it's really short and I hope you guys enjoyed the video.